Hello, Dave Dog here. Welcome back to Grey Dog FM and our save with Bradford Park Avenue. Things were going pretty well last time you saw us in episode six. We'd just reached the fourth round of the FA Trophy by beating National League Scunthorpe 1-0. Goal near the end from David Hamed. Things have gone pretty badly since then. On the back of that cup win, we played Ilkston at home. They're near the bottom of the table and we had a comfortable 3-1 win. They took the lead on 30 minutes. Hamed brought us back into the game just before half-time. And second half, a double from Will Longbottom. One from the penalty spot. Saw us home 3-1. Should have been more. We missed chances. Will Longbottom coming on as sub. 8.5. He was a man of the match. Good performance from Harry Lovick. But he got injured in that game. And he's been missing for a while. The next game, we played Banbury up in the playoffs with us. Away from home, goals after 10 and 90 minutes. We competed reasonably well, but defensive mistakes and missed chances meant we went down 2-0. On to South Shields at home. South Shields were second in the league at the time, and it was a 1-1, a creditable performance, considering where the opposition were in the league. We took the lead through Will Longbottom, starting this time, on 32 minutes, but three minutes from the end, Declan Evans equalised for South Shields. It's a game that we should have held on to. The old fitness problems are coming back. Players not seeing out games due to us playing more than one game a week. We played Wednesday and then Saturday. We couldn't keep up the pressure and uh, we succumbed to that late goal from Evans. Overall, not a bad result. So then, on to Spennymore. They were top of the league. We lost 2-1. Glenn Taylor, that man up front, last season's player of the year in this division, scored after 60 minutes. We got one back fairly quickly. First goal for Keenan Kwansa, and then again, eight minutes from time, falling again to a late goal. Finn O'Boyle was back in the fold and had a good game. We are missing Harry Lovick on the right. He creates so much for us. On to the final game that we've played. Southport away. Score looks pretty good, but we went down 3-0 in the first half. 15, 23, 25. Just about everything that could go wrong did go wrong. The first one a penalty. Dunstan dived in and gave away an early penalty to get them on the way. Real rollicking at half-time seemed to have an effect. We pulled two goals back. Finn O'Boyle on 49 and Hamed coming on a sub. He's been out of form and uh, really haven't been able to find anybody up front to stick the ball in. But he came back on and scored after 75 minutes to give us hope. But the game just petered out after that. If you see there, Lee Angle playing up front, got 5.9 and was finally taken off because he was injured. We haven't won in four. Not good form to come into today's game against Chester in the FA Trophy fourth round and we play them again on Tuesday. That game was postponed and moved to after this game. We were supposed to be playing them in the league before. Unfortunately, waterlogged pitch at Chester meant we couldn't play. We are now 11th, seven points behind Brackley and Southport. If we were harbouring any hopes of automatic promotion, that has now gone. We are 15 points outside that. We're going to have to get some form back to get into the playoffs again. We've lost 10. That's more than anybody up there. We're just not firing as a collective. When we do, we're a good team. A lot of work to be done, but we can take our minds off the league today as we go into this FA Trophy game at home to Chester. Let's have a look at today's team. McCauley in goal. We're keeping the same back four as we've had recently. A Dunstan at right back. Samson at Bontahoma in the centre. And Blake Tracy as a left back. Slight change of formation. And we're going 4-1, 4-1 today. It's the same tactic we used against Scunthorpe in the previous round. Fielding comes in to play the anchorman for Kwansar and the four midfielders Hopper on the right Longbottom on the left Truman and Williams in the centre as Mazalas the idea is that those wide midfielders will get forward and the Mazalas Williams and Truman will cover the space left behind them and up front as a lone forward and poacher is David Hamed on the bench we've got Kwansar Osborne Lovick back from injury. He's only fit for 60 minutes. At some point he will come on. Finn O'Boyle and Lee Angle will need to play well against the Chester side who are flying at the moment. So we're in the dressing room and the team talk is going to be pump fists and we're going with what the assistant says. We're all sick and tired of getting bad results so go out there and change that starting now. Dunstan's complacent. Hamed's inspired and the rest are composed. A mixed team talk. Let's go into the match. 
So let's get on with the game. No kickoff highlight, and Chester, of course, are the favourites for this game uh, due to their current form. They lost the last game, but that was against Filed Away, decent side, after winning nine successive games. So we're really up against it today. But we've got the first highlight here. Hamed, keeper, comes out and picks that one up. But we've been playing that long ball and uh, usually it's been going to their central defenders there's uh, Sam's tidying up at the back it's uh, got a good feel to it so far as this we've had all the ball fielding Truman getting through in the half space but good tackle falls to Longbottom Longbottom falls to Hamed hits the post and cleared away for a corner and we're creating something which is more than we have been doing in early parts of our previous games so it's Longbottom with the corner Knocks it in, near post, headed out, but Bontahoma picks up, plays it back to Hopper on the halfway line, and that's the end of that. But so far, we're on top. As I said, Chester 6-5 to five favourites were 2-1. to one. They are currently fourth in the league, and uh, as we said, flying. The thing I'm not, not so happy about today, we're in a later round of the FA Trophy, and the crowd is only 624. That's what we're up against here. But Longbottom crosses in. Hamed with header just over the bar. We are creating, but nothing on target so far. Just hit that post. Longbottom has taken a knock and it's a hamstring. Let's have a look then. Longbottom recovering from a knock. Doesn't seem too bad. I'm going to leave him on. Harrison Hopper's looking ill-disciplined. Let's have a word. Where is he? Out here, isn't he? Harrison Hopper. Let's see, he's off tackles. We don't want him getting sent off. So confirm that and get on with the game and we're into the 28th minute and uh, Longbottom suffered a pulled hamstring changing with Lovick he's still uh, showing as good condition as corner here is headed out by Sams and Hamed clears away but we've got nobody up front we've got them all back and uh, it falls again to Chester but we've picked up the ball Longbottom the only problem is we've no, nothing to build on We'll have to get players forward, which we have done. Blake Tracy knocks a long ball. That's the balls we've been playing. What a waste of time they are. Just picked up by the defenders. But Fielding picks that one up. Hamed has a go, and it's just over again. He's shooting his Hamed, but we're not hitting the target. Three shots, none on target for Chester, and four for us, and none on target. But we've had good chances. It's half-time. Pretty boring game for the supporters. Nothing on target from seven shots between us we've had more possession but this system uh, seems to be favoring us let's hope for a little bit extra in the second half so half time team talk let's pump face and i'm proud of everyone's efforts keep going we can win this that's had no effect at all dunstan and macaulay are complacent there's only hamed who's inspired but if he can get one of those shots in the net let's start the second half then uh, no highlight off we go straight away we've had most of the momentum as we can see from the graph on the right Blake Tracy's got a bruised thigh let's have a look at him then seems to be unaffected by the knock but he's not playing so well at 6.5 neither is a Dunstan you see in this FM 23 that the full back one plays bad the other plays bad one plays good the other plays good seems to be linked Harrison Hopper at 6.4 as well if we can get Harry Lovick on for Harrison Hopper on the right and let's just move him forward a little bit so William should cover that space left by Lovick as he attacks don't want to make changes too early Let, let's just keep it at that one then Lovick coming on for Hopper on the right and let's see if he can have an impact nothing happening no shots on target yet when I finish her headers let's have some floated crosses go on then we'll do that anything to try break the deadlock uh, we're into the 75th minute, still nothing on target and uh, could be extra time based on what we've seen so far. So let's see if we can make some more changes. Blake Tracy 6.5, Dunstan 6.4. How's Longbottom now? He's poor and 7. Let's get Angle on and again he'll have to push up. He can't play in that more defensive role if we can move him. Get up there, Lee. So, an inverted winger on attack. Let's go positive. We're going to try win the game. We're now on a 4-3-3, which is what they started off as. Yeah, I'm going to leave the full-backs for now. If we go in front, 
maybe we might change that but some more attacking changes and see if we can force a goal as we go into the final stages of the game still nothing on target and here we go Oy, shot on target from them we didn't see quite who who shot but Macaulay right behind that one knocks a long ball at Freeld and it's uh, Chester coming back again watch them score now because we've gone on positive but that one's missed so one shot on target we haven't had a shot on target let's have a shout and demand more corner fielding and uh, headed away by Chester Williams picks up angles at the back there is he onside is he onside that is a question go what stand no I thought it was a slightly offside there and we're gonna go to extra time I believe there we go the XG pretty low but we've just marginally got more XG than them six corners to one more possession I get another sub get into the dressing room I'm going to pump this and say I'm proud of everyone so far yep that's made everybody happy and gain confidence caught in two minds here what to do whether to go for this or just keep it as it is I'm going to put fielding in at right back it's not his best position put him on automatic so he can get forward and replace the anchor man and move to more attacking with O'Boyle attacking midfielder on support so we're going really attacking we've gone the 4-2-3-1 now we need to make one of these more defensive Williams can be uh, a deep line playmaker on defend so could be a cover there I'm going to put field in as a defending full back so we've got the back four staying in position we've got Williams helping out as a playmaker Truman Mazala and we've got more attacking threat now we're going to go for it in this extra time so team talk complete everybody's feeling inspired let's start the extra time then see if we can get one past Chester for a change and uh, we've still not had a shot on target there's only been one shot now they've had three shots so they're coming into the game although the momentum says it's more or less even so let's start the extra time and get in with a shout and demand more we haven't got another sub have we i think we have let's just have a look see if we can make a change then with five minutes to go so we're going to four two four then positive so going for the game now last five minutes we've had a shot on target at least anyway and that's it it's a replay at chester just what we needed we've got a league game there and now we've got a cup replay. Sam Fielding, man of the match. Defensive performance, good. All the greens there. Attacking wise, not so good. One shot on target, hot whole game. Nothing in it. They weren't much better to say their recent form. So let's see when the replay is going to be. What's this? I actually got my paper out and started doing the crossword. <laughs> yeah, I can see people saying that. So in the league, we've dropped down to 12th due to league games being played looking bleak for the playoffs but we're still in the cup at the moment so we're playing Chester Wednesday the 22nd I'm going to come back with the next episode not going to play anything off camera we'll come back for the next episode the replay against Chester and based on form you've got to think we're going to be up against it but who knows who knows in this game if you've enjoyed this please leave a like please subscribe if you've got any comments please leave them I'll respond to everybody Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye till we come back at Chester for the replay.